Hi, welcome back. Today we're going to learn how to do assembly using two different assembly files that we have created previously. The first one will be this particular one which is the assembled bank that we did previously. The second one will be the rectangular box using new solid. We're going to use two assembly file format and assemble them together. Let's see how we are going to do this. Okay, the first thing that we need to do is call up all the necessary files, right? So I'm going to open up, right, the assembly file format, click on new, scroll down to standard IAM file, standard MMIM file, click create, right, the screen will appear, we're going to look for the files, we choose place, we select the very first file, which is the assembled bank that we have created previously. This will be the master file. We only need one of it. So you just hit the escape key. Right? Did some rotating to bring it to the right orientation that we want. Right? Okay. The next thing we do is we place another file another assembly file in this time we look for the rectangular box using new, new solid the rectangular box using new solid dot IAM file that we also created previously select it and click open we're just going to place it over here okay I only need one so I hit the escape key right I'm going to do some rotating to bring it to the orientation that I want right as usual we can click on the rotate key here. Okay, I'm going to use this surface. I'm going to use this surface assembled to this surface. So I'm going to use constraint. I'm going to click on this surface. And then I'm going to click on this surface. And I click apply. Notice what happened. The rectangular box has been shifted and it has been assembled to the bottom of the assembled bank. Okay, the next step is I just want to catch some alignment between here and here, right? And to do that, I'm going to use constraint again. I'm going to use tangent because this is a curved surface and this is a flat. We want this flat surface tangent to this surface. So I'm going to click on tangent. I'm going to select this surface, tangent to this surface. I'm going to try out, say maybe minus 100 and see what happens. Right, it has snapped on. Why I use 100 is because I know this diameter of this cylinder is about 100. Okay, so the next thing I want to do, right, I'll rotate it and check my assembly. Okay, I may want to shift this surface and this surface to some alignment, right, to make it tangent. So I'll give it a try again. Again, I click on tangent, I click on this surface and this surface. I may want to try maybe minus 60. Let's see what happened. It shifted out, right? But to edit this, it's not a problem. Click cancel. Click on this plus sign. We notice there's a minus 60 here. Shift it down, right? Click on it. We can change this value here. Perhaps I change to 60. Watch what happened. It shifted further out. So it didn't work. So maybe I put 40, minus 40 then. Let's see what happened now, this time around. You have shifted. If I put 100, minus 100, you have shifted more. So maybe it's a little bit too much. Perhaps I try 90. Now if it looks alright, let's take a look at it. It seems okay. So if it's alright, we just leave it as it is. And there we go. We have assembly of the assembled bank together with the rectangular box using new solids. Okay, these two assembly files has now been assembled together. That's all. Now it's your turn to try.